the Neurology Support Centre in Sligo. And as I said, as I was saying, I hope you're in the mood for a few tunes. I'm going to be playing you a few jigs, reels, polkas, barn dances, hornpipes, a carolin tune, and maybe a John Sheehan composition. So we'll see how we get on. But I'm going to start with a couple of polkas, and they're well known sleeve lucre polkas from the southwest of Ireland. And they were on this uh, recording made in 1969 by Dennis Murphy and Julia Clifford. They're two fiddle players, a brother and a sister. And they recorded this album called A Star Above the Garter, which is a bit of a landmark album in the, in the tradition of Sleeve Lucra. So uh, they're called the Nocknabool Polkas. So here we go. the Nocknabool polkas and I just see on the laptop in front of me here that it says the live video has ended so 
So I'm just going to check my phone, which is what I'm doing the recording with. And, uh, oh look, I've raised $18. Fantastic. One person donated so far, that's great. The phone looks okay. I think I'm still streaming live. So I'm going to continue on with a set of jigs. So the first of these jigs is called the Woods of Old Limerick. And we learnt them off a CD that was released this year by PJ Hardin and his sons Donal and Seamus. So that's the Woods of Old Limerick. The second one is called The Restless Boy. And The Restless Boy was composed by a Michael Dwyer from the Beira Peninsula down in Cork. And um, so here we go with these two, The Woods of Old Limerick and The Restless Boy. The Woods of Old Limerick and The Restless Boy. Cheers, I hope you're having a beer as well, or a glass of wine, or whatever you fancy. Ah, we have to make the best of it in these days. 
in these times. So the next tune I want to play for you is, is a Carolyn piece. And Carolyn, of course, is the the blind Irish bard who was born in 1670 and died in 1738. And he travelled all around the northwest here and um, composed tunes for his patrons. And this one was composed for a patron by the name of Lady Gethin. So it's called Lady Gethin's a Carolyn tune. I hope you enjoyed that a Carolyn tune called Lady Gethin and I'm trying to refresh on my laptop to see if I can read the comments see if there are any comments thank you for donating Damien Hennigan good on you good man thank you Rosie I'm glad you enjoyed the polkas and my cousin Jenny Fitzgibbon Good on you for tuning in and donating. And Elaine too. Ah, oh, that's class. Hope you're all well. Um, any more comments there? Now, so, another sip of beer. I want to play a couple of hornpipes next and I composed a tune during the summer there back in August and I composed it and I called it Pauline O'Hara's and Pauline O'Hara 
has her father's fiddle. She doesn't play herself, but her father was a fiddle player, Charlie O'Hara. And uh, when I was trying to finish the tune, she was there um, uh, and I was playing different endings and stuff for her and trying to settle on the on the right tune. So I thought it'd be nice to call it after her, Pauline O'Hara's. And the next one then is called the Himalayan Hornpipe. And I composed that back in about 2004 after getting to India for a month. And during that month, we went north of Delhi and up into the foothills of the Himalayas. And I had a little tin whistle and we were in the back of a rented van and I was just tooting away and tin whistle and the start of this tune came out. So Pauline O'Hara's and the Himalayan Hornpipe. Sarah, good stuff. I think you were raising a glass to us there. Sarah sent a video. Okay, let's launch everybody. Just a reminder, and if anybody has just joined us, uh, we're I'm playing tunes on Foley's Bar and Off License Facebook page in aid of the Neurology Centre in Sligo. It's on the mall in Sligo. Support centre for families and uh, patients with neurological disorders. 
So there's a donate button there on the page. Um, feel free to donate, please click. Okay, and I hope you're sitting comfy and I have a, have a, a big enough screen that you're not watching it on a, on a mobile or that. But anyway, um, I'm gonna play a set of reels next. The first one is called A Visit to the Crouch End and it was composed by um, a young fiddle player, well he's not so young anymore, but it, Shane Meehan is his name. And uh, Shane grew up in Carrick and Shannon, County Leitrim, and released an album last year called Twill Do. And all the tunes in the, well most of the tunes in the album were composed by him. He's a prolific composer and this is one of them. And then I follow that with two traditional tunes. The first one's called The Sailor on the Rock and Tear the Calico, or Rip the Calico is the, thir is the third one. And just check here for comments again. Ah, Mairead Scanlon, how are you? How's things? I'm Mary Ellen McCann. Brilliant. You're having a problem with the donate page, but I'll find a way. Okay, yeah. Um, the donate button seems to have worked for other people. So, um, yeah. Sarah Garden says, are these this year's tunes? Okay, so what she means there is that every year I teach tunes in drum shambo on a traditional Irish music course. And yes, Sarah, some of the tunes are this year's tunes. The Jigs, The Woods of Old Limerick and The Restless Boy, and the Carol and Peace, Lady Gethin, they're all this year's tunes. But um, the Knock the Bulls weren't, and this set of reels are not. So here comes the visit to Crouch End, the Sailor on the Rock, and Tear the Calico.
and the rain is pelting down on the roof. I can hear it, it's lovely to be indoors with a beer. So I hope you enjoyed those reels. Um, the visit to Crouch End and Sailor on the Rock and Tear the Calico. A reminder that um, this is Mossy Martin broadcasting from the Second Sea Road in Sligo in the northwest of Ireland and we're playing in aid of the Neurology Support Centre. The donate button is should be just below the live video, the live feed. And um, I'd like to thank the Foley's Bar and Off Licence for hosting us and sponsoring us and the White Hag Brewery in Ballymote. And uh, of course, the, the one and only John the Map Callanan for organising all these gigs over the weekend. So the next uh, next set I'd like you to like to play is a composition of John Sheehan's. John Sheehan is the fiddle player with the Dubliners, and he's composed a good few pieces. And this is called St Patrick's Cathedral. bringing back memories of this time last year. This time last year I was in Sitges in the north east of Spain. It's close to Barcelona and the, they have a festival there every year called Sitges Live, organized by Caroline Wynne. And um, I actually got to play this time last year with John Sheehan. 
and I got to play a couple of sets with him on stage. So that was lovely. And um, that's his piece. It's called St. Patrick's Cathedral. And it's a lovely, a lovely piece. Slauncha. Hmm. Let's see if there's any uh, comments there. Maureen Regan, how are you? Do you know, I'd love if you were here beside me and we were playing a few tunes. Um, this, this solo business isn't all it's cracked up to be. <laughs> but I hope you're keeping well and keeping safe. Yvonne Trainer, yes, I love St. Patrick's Cathedral too. Um, if we have a charity concert this year, Yvonne, it'll be definitely on the set list, definitely. And there's Polly and Rob from all the way from South Wales in Brecon Beacons. Brecon Beacons. Uh, great to touch base with you again, Polly and Rob. Um, I have some great memories of playing cards in a campsite with you and having a few drinks and playing pool in the, in the local bar. Okay. Now, what's next? I have a couple of jigs next. The first one's called The Mouse in the Cupboard, and the second one is called The Butcher's March. And I got these off a recording called Leitrim Cake, which was a recording of a fiddle player by the name of Joe Lackey Gallagher. So The Mouse in the Cupboard and The Butcher's March. They're fairly, fairly uh, local tunes, North Connacht tunes. That's not the mouse in the cupboard. It starts a bit like it. This is the mouse in the cupboard.
Okay, <coughs> that was the um, the Mouse in the Cupboard and the Butcher's March, made popular by Joe Lackey Gallagher. Let's launch everybody. Hello, Trudy Prescott. Uh, thanks for your lovely comments. That's great. Um, I'm going to tr try a set of polkas next, another set of polkas. And these are different polkas to the sleeve lucre ones that I played earlier. So these are more Sligo polkas or North Connacht polkas. They are called The Return of Spring, The Lakes of Sligo and Memories of Ballymoat. Okay, here we go. 
Lancia. Hi Laura, great to hear from you. Uh, that's cousin Laura up in Newcastle, County Dublin. Um, I forgot to mention earlier on, if anybody would like a tune played, please just drop a comment and if I know it, I'll play it. Um, and just a reminder that I'm here playing um, a live stream from Foley's Bar and Off Licence Facebook page and it's in aid of the Neurology Support Centre here in Sligo in the Mall in County Sligo and um, there's a donate button uh, very close to your live stream so you should be able to donate there please do and yes Sarah Garden that's really the rain we can hear <laughs> I'm in our cabin in the garden and um, it's a bit like a log cabin but um, so yeah that's the rain you can hear but we had a lovely day in Sligo it was an absolutely cracking day we didn't get any rain the sun shone for most of us the girls were outside playing away for a lot of us um, I got out for a cycle at one stage and we, we, we had a nice day a lovely day so um barn dances yet so I'm going to play as a couple of barn dances the first one's called Simon Doherty's and the second one is Kitty Shan Cunningham's and um, they go like this
Okay. Um, great. Chris wants to hear Mr. O'Connor. Fantastic. So Mr. O'Connor is another Carolyn composition. And uh, we'll give it a lash in a second. Mm. I wish you were here to play it with me, guys. That's Sarah and Chris. Uh, I wish anybody was here to play with me. <laughs> it's, it's a lonely old gig, so it is. A lonely old gig. Here we go, Mr. O'Connor by Carolyn. Mr. O'Connor by Thurla Carolyn. 
and I hope you were playing along, Sarah, from one cabin to another. <clears throat> okay, Slauncha. Ah, oh, that's great, Elaine. It's um, it's the first time I've done one of these um, solo live streaming gigs, and uh, but it's great to to thank you all for your comments and your support. Um, what about Gronya's jig? Said Mary Ellen McCann. Okay. Gronia's Jig is a lovely composition of Tommy Peoples. Um, so yes, we'll play Gronia's Jig for you, Mary Ellen. No problem. No problem. <laughs> stuff so that was um Gronya's jig uh, composed by the great Donegal fiddle player Tommy Peoples and especially for Mary Ellen McCann and uh, great to hear from you Mary Ellen hope you're playing away what am I saying I know you're playing away and I know you're composing tunes and thanks for sending them to me it's great okay um, how are we doing for time? It's 10 o'clock. So I'd like to finish up with uh, a set of reels. And these were made famous by Michael Coleman, the great Sligo fiddle player who emigrated to America and recorded lots during the 1920s and 30s and influenced all fiddle players after him. And it's called uh, the um, Bonnie Kate and Jenny's Chickens. And I always think of a fiddle player that I, I knew when I was growing up um, called John Higgins. He was from Giva, County Sligo. And any time I ever saw him, he was wearing a suit and a cap. And he died in his, in, his 90, in his 90s. And we played this set of tunes 
at his funeral and um, he, he loved him, he really loved him and he, he had a great bow hand, uh, a great sort of rhythm in his bow and uh, his wife Kathleen Higgins was a fantastic singer. She had an amazing powerful voice that would cut through a noisy pub and everybody would listen to her. Uh, so I'm thinking of John Higgins and Kathleen Higgins. And thanks a million again to um, John the Map for organising this and the White Hag and the Neur Neurology Support Centre in Sligo. Um, and thanks for everyone, everyone for all your comments and everything. That's fantastic. It uh, it it really it uh, really makes it um, that you can do a connection of that. Okay, so here's Bonnie, Kate, and Jenny's chickens. I have a great uh, bank holiday weekend, everybody. Take care.